Hey Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on, y'all. I'd be so much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for supporting this channel. Let's see what message the spirit got for y'all. This beautiful Sunday morning. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius collective? Please and thank you. What messages of divine guidance do you have? Tower. Because right before I hit the record button, I tried to pick up my deck and it all just... Psh, and what I saw was the temperance, the high priestess, the five of swords. Judgment was in the reverse with the five of wands, y'all. It could be... Yo. But this tower, this is divine intervention. But let's get into it. Spirit, what's going on? I don't like this tower. It's like people jumping out of a building. It looks like something's on fire. And look at how this woman landed. I don't like that. All right, so you have the Knight of Wands. Judgment, and then there y'all go. Temperance. But I just told you judgment was in the reverse. That's why the tower here, some type of divine intervention is happening. Because I saw that five of one. Five of one is like, it could be physical altercation. It's disagreements, differences of opinions, you know. What's this? Spirit say that's the true ace of swords. And, yep, five of I <laughs> These are the cards that just flipped over. They sure did. So, this Five of Swords. Now, when, when the Tempest came out, it came out with the High Priestess. And what I instantly got off that is somebody is coming after you because of what you do, what you know. They don't like that you're a High Priestess. They don't like that at all. Okay. Or some of y'all, look at that Seven of Swords. Someone could be doing with the Pisces. We got a lot of air on the, on the board. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Bottom of the day is the Six of Swords and the King of Swords. Damn. The Hierophant. Ooh. ooh, ooh. Somebody planted something. They've done this several times. Somebody could be trying to plant some pills, some drugs, something like that. I'm also getting the way she's watering this plant. Whatever they planted, they're trying to let it build up. But it's all lies, seven swords. And there's another fire right there. So this person, because the five of swords can be criminal activity. This motherfucker could be out there committing crimes. And trying to blame it on somebody who's just balancing their energy. This you, Sag. Somebody who's just balancing their energy out. That's what it looked like. But with this Six of Swords, there could be a King of Swords following someone. Or someone could be getting moved to safety with the Six of Swords here. Moving away from chaos and conflict towards calmer waters. I also see maybe somebody going in like a, a mental place. Yeah, this shit here crazy. All right, let's keep going. Clean the pinnacle. Let's clarify it with my small dick. What we need to see, Spirit? All right, when I tell you this person can try all kind of shit, bro. It's, they trying to plant something on somebody. Ten of Swords. 
the hierophant. Damn, this could be a group of people. Because the hierophant could be like an organization or something. There's people watching, talking. People could be watching something online. What's this? Five of Cups. And they landed on this King of Swords. What's up with this King of Swords? Two of Wands in the reverse. Somebody made a fucked up decision. Two of Wands in the reverse. Somebody made a bad choice here. To possibly work with someone with the Eight of Pentacles. There could be a lot of money involved in this with this Ten of Pentacles right here. Or that's up. Yeah, it's money. Sudden wealth. Thief. Somebody tried to steal it. It could be a married couple who tried to steal this from you, but it's supposed to go to the third person. What's this bad uh, health and adjudication? What's at the back of it? Gift and wealthy man. So a wealthy man could have left you a gift, and people, maybe somebody did steal it. protection around you or you're viewed as high honor I, I always get this card as protection but take it how it resonates somebody could be viewing you as high honor or there could be physical protection right you know what it's giving this could have something to do with some insurance with that sudden wealth It look like, oh, I don't like this. It look like somebody trying to set a fire on somebody that they already got an insurance policy on. That's crazy cause some months back, I had a vision of this Caucasian dude running from a building. He was like an older dude, like maybe 50s, 60s even. But he had soot on his face. Now I don't know if, the way he was running, it kinda, it almost looked like he was trying to get away with something. Or he could have been running out the building. There's fires here. There's a fire here on this tower. Like people jumping from a building, y'all. And the way somebody landed, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And then on this Ten of Swords, this person is laying down here bleeding. And then you get sudden wealth with Ten of Pentacles. That gives me insurance vibes. But the way somebody doing it. Seven of Swords is lying, stealing, cheating. The Five of Swords is having to win at all costs. Like somebody could have insurance on somebody and be trying to do something to a person. Like this right here is too much. Um, let me grab my other deck that I made. Cause baby, that going on for somebody. I don't know who. Damn, I can't see. Y'all know how the sun be so bright that you go back in the house and be dark. Yeah, that's what it looking like. But let's see what come out because, baby, that's what I'm getting. Either inheritance or insurance. And somebody trying to steal it. Shit, somebody could have even, y'all, oh my God. Somebody could have even... I already hurt someone. And maybe they thought they was the beneficiary or something. <clears throat> I don't know. 
but there's a lot of money involved here. They're going broke trying to make you fail. Authorities intimidating children, but spirits say no worries, y'all. Yeah, this is some fuckery. What else? Yeah. Stole your mail. They stole some, damn it. What's behind that? Oh, hell. That's this hierophant. Prejudice. Y'all know what in the fuck is going on. Look at this shit. That's the Southern Wealth Ten of Pentacles. It's being hidden from you. It's yours. Somebody stole your mail. Because y'all know I was picking up some months back. I was looking out the window and I seen all these goddamn trucks just pull up at the mailbox and they did that for the longest. And y'all know I've been talking about it. They were stealing people's mail. But it's because there's something here. Yeah, thief. Maybe you had a check sent to you and somebody stole it. Because i also been dreaming about checks. The first one that I dreamed about, this man had a clipboard in the, in the dream. The flashlight came on. There was a name. And then it said 65000 And then the flashlight went off. And it was something about Piggly Wiggly too. Or Little Pig or something like that. That was the first dream. And then, like a week ago, I had a dream about a check for $9,000. So, I don't know what's going on here, y'all, but something going on. For real. Somebody's doing something. Okay. And so, what they say? Angels walk with you every day. Spirit say show some gratitude. Because remember I said this high honor could be protection. Spirit say show some gratitude because it's unseen people in the physical helping you. So say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They're getting mad because something's not working. Maybe they thought this was going to be smooth. Maybe they do this type of shit all the time. You feel me? Like, you know, people... Because the, the higher friend could be courts. It could, it's in, it could be anything, right? But these two people got keys to something. So, um, these could be the type of folks who, maybe they work with wheels and estates and stuff like that. And they could know where, who stuff is going to when it's getting sent out. Or maybe somebody works for the, the mail. I don't know. But they knew about this sudden will. Cause how did they know when to come to the mailbox? They had to be they had to be working with some folk, and they stole something. Because my dreams is real. I don't have I keep having these damn dreams about these goddamn checks, and then I seen it on the fields. I'm like, why y'all? It got to the point where I wasn't getting no mail, not even no fucking bills. I'm like, damn, if you gonna do it, do it right. At least let me get my bills. You know what I'm like? They were taking everything. My packages, they were stealing everything. Even my Amazon packages. Like, what the fuck are y'all doing? <laughs> you feel me? So, yeah, somebody done stole some shit. But, what's this? Okay, so this is a life purpose card. It says body work. Your life purpose involves massage therapy energy healing physical therapy or exercise training so some of y'all could be energy healers excuse me or any one of those but damn y'all this sudden well is being hidden from me but it's yours someone could be an author someone could want to write a book about your life or spirit is telling you you have a book inside of you 
maybe write a page a day or write a page a week, but there's a book you need to make time to write it. Okay, what else, dear? Oh, yeah. Somebody could be begging for forgiveness from God. That could be this Five of Cups. Or someone could be begging for money or more time. I don't think they're begging for no goddamn money because they stole yours. <laughs> they got money. But they could be begging for forgiveness from God. It came out again. But there's people in the physical helping you. Major lies were told to bring you down. That could be the Ten of Swords. Oh, my God. Somebody tried to make you sick and unalive you. Now they scared of you. Ain't that some shit? You try to take out an earth angel. And then when the most high God say no, now you won't be scared of the earth angel. What the? So look, try to unalive you. Y'all, there's some sick shit going on. Like, like I said, motherfuckers could have already had insurance on you, bruh. And, 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 and trying to take you up out of here. But they picked the wrong one to fuck with. And if, you, if they didn't did it to you, they didn't did it before. If they're doing it to you, they didn't did it before. Shit. Okay. A karmic man. So, they, I feel like they thought they were just going to take your money, take you up out of here, and go on and live happily ever after. But they made a, um, a fucked up choice with the two of ones in the reverse. Because something coming out. Spirits, spirits speak through you. You're a medium. Angelic spirits speak through you. And spirits say you will get justice in court. Because y'all are dealing with someone who hates women. But they call him a misogynist. Okay. Spirits say something could be on film. What they did to you and your family. Yeah, somebody inherited something. Now that's crazy. What I say, these people could work. So you could have inherited land or property or cars or money. Inherited something. It says received as an heir at the death of a previous holder. That's what inherited means. So then that means someone could have passed. Because... That's how you inherit something at the death of someone else. Mm. But the the trash is taking itself out, child. Just keep going. Because I said they picked the wrong one to do this to. If they've done this, if they did this to you, they didn't did it before. So this could be putting insurance on people, setting shit up, and motherfuckers passing away, and they make themselves the beneficiaries. They could have did that shit to you. You got ready to try to take you out. Spirit say, not today, neither tomorrow. Right? And so it's not working. They tried to make you sick. Some of these people could be trying to make you sick through spell work. Make it look like you just passed away. Just, you know. Because that's what this is saying. They could either try to make you sick. How they going to make you sick? Now, be mindful. Because if you live with people, watch people prepare your food. Because people be, hey, when money is involved, motherfuckers do anything. So, either they try to make you sick by physically fucking with you. And I, because I had some dreams like that, too. I, one dream I had, y'all know I love Dr. Peppers. If you don't know, you know. And I had a dream, it was a lot of, like, white powder on top of the Dr. Peppers. Like, that's how Clear Spirit showed it to me. It was a, a mound of white powder on top of these Dr. Peppers. And in the vision, I felt like, I don't know, don't you drink that shit? That was Spirit was telling me. So I even started throwing shit away out my own refrigerator. Because when you're dealing with motherfuckers like that, you see these two keys right there. They said, if they can steal your goddamn mail, they can easily make a key to your house or come in your house. Hello? See, when you are chosen by the divine, I, I watched the reading the other day. She said, they could try to poison you. You ain't going to do nothing but shit it out. If it ain't your time to go, it ain't your time to go. Like, people trying to act like they got Like, what? So, they try to make you sick. They try to unalive you. And now they scared. And they mad because it's not working. And you got unseen people in the physical helping you. So, every morning when you thank the most high for allowing you to wake up, thank these people who are helping you. 
okay what else spirit because this is this is big this right here is big maybe this is how 888 abundance yeah and then for others of you just like the car say something would left to you and they hiding it from you and stole your mail and they can have she they can have some of your own family helping their ass if you help me do this i'll give you a cut how fuck you gonna get somebody a cut of somebody else's shit <laughs> uh how you gonna give somebody else a cut of some shit that ain't even your own make that make sense and so maybe when that didn't work then they try to uh what you say plant something on you what was we getting at the beginning they tried to plant something on you so you can go to jail they just want you out the way so they can take your shit or do continue doing what they were doing but with their ace of swords truth and clarity coming through baby yeah something is coming to you by divine right some of you guys will be dealing with an earth sign capricorn taurus or virgo but that's that higher right there a karmic man whoever it is they just need chill out Damn, what did they want to go in? Practice your skills daily. Okay, whatever you do, if you read tarot, read them bitches daily. Practice them daily. And ask what I done started doing. Because I don't ever read the book. I just go off what I get intuitively. Because y'all know these cards come with a book that'll teach you the meanings of them. But I don't ever read them. But what I've started to do, though, is grab a card. And ask the most high to show me what it means. I'll close my eyes and see what type of vision I get off of a card. I'm I'm what you call an intuitive reader. Not all tarot card readers are equal. Some of them, and I don't I ain't throwing no shame at nobody, okay? But some of them just read they just tell you the meaning of the cards. Some of them are like me, intuitive readers. They go off of the visions and the feelings that they get with the cards. That's what I do. But, I mean, I, I, both of them good. You know what I'm saying? All right, what else, fear? So, I ain't throwing no shade at nobody. What else? What else? What else? Important people care about you. So, they, they done fucked up. They done fucked up now. Yes, they did. They done fucked up. Whoever you are, important people care about you. It says your children or your grandchildren are gifted. Mm-hmm. I know my little grandbabies can see shit. And so, so do my kids. My daughter has dreams. Her dreams. This karmic man keep coming out. Who in the fuck is this? He keep coming out. This must be that misogynist. Somebody doing sex spells? Oh my god. Oh shit. Spirit say whatever you was just thinking is true. One one one. I want I want to pull some energy on that. So y'all, there's something going on. Somebody stole your shit. Somebody stole your inheritance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or try to put some insurance on you and take you up out of here. Yeah, you, you're clairvoyant, clairaudient. The court know what they tried to do. They tried to unalive you, period. <laughs> what the fuck? That's the Ten of Swords. And the way he covered up, they tried to cover him up with that red blanket. Mm -mm. It's being uncovered. They're looking into it. Somebody looking into this. Whatever the fuck this is. Somebody tried to get away with that right there. And I just feel like if they did this, this is not their first time. Somebody could be, uh, alright, you got occupation, official person, privileged lady. Mm, false. Motherfuckers is not who they supposed to be out here in these streets, man. You got a community of folk around your home. <coughs> People could be trying to intimidate you and shit. They'd be making it worse because it's like, why do people try to do the intimidation? It's because they done did something to you and you and they know you know. 
So when they try to intimidate you, it's just they telling on themselves. That's how I look at it. Like, why y'all fucking with this person? What's really going on? But they done told lies. You saw that with that seven of swords. They told horrible lies on you. Like, uh, the reading I did some months back, this person, they were in a position of power. And uh, I said, in that reading, I said, they was 100% sure that if they either said a certain thing or did a certain thing, that you would be taken out of here. You would be handled. So then you gotta, you think about that. You're like, okay, so what does that really mean, spirit? Okay. So if they have, if they can have you threatening people, certain people, you, can, you can't threaten nobody, but certain people, your ass get in trouble for threatening. But whatever the fuck they did, it was lies. And that shit is being revealed. Five of swords, seven of swords. And there's something here with a fire. Now everybody's on a different timeline. Okay, take what resonate. This this may not even resonate with you, but I'm telling you, it is something going on for real. But spirit say important people care about you. Now them could be people on the physical, or them could be people in the spiritual. But they care about you. You need to know that. All right. Something again, I keep getting with this star. Something could be on TV or something like that with this star card. Taking how it resonate. Somebody gonna regret choosing to do this to you. This karmic man who this karmic man could literally be anybody. It could be a family member. It could be somebody you don't even motherfucking know. I feel like somebody thought you was a, um easy target. They thought that. Yeah, they did. And I just I just feel like if they've done it to you, they've done this shit before. Maybe something happens with people who are um self-employed. You might not even know them at all. Okay. So anyway, child, what we need to see, Spirit. There's something better. So, let's talk about it. Flew out there. First of all, let's read this top card. Expect good news and money matters. A raise or a new job offer. Promising opportunities are waiting. And money will soon start flowing to your businesses. Okay? Then you have options. So, many opportunities. Again, many opportunities are becoming available to you. That's the second card saying that. Then you have this writer here. Your words have the power to influence others. Find out how you can contribute. Uh, get your message heard and get noticed. You have much to share with the world. That was that book. Remember that card that came out and said, uh, yeah, with the writer. I said, either somebody going to want to write a book about you or you will have a, a whole story in you because of the situation. So this is confirmation, voice and writer confirming that card that I wrote. Okay. And then you have peacemaker. So Consider politics, negotiations, unions, contracts, or any peacemaking careers. Then you have planner. This is a great time to take financial inventory and see what needs changing. Pay attention to the details and create a plan to grow your business or your personal finances. It's, it's given predatory. I was getting predatory lender the other day. River, river, and that's what I'm getting like praying on the weak and the praying on people who don't know instead of informing them of certain things, they know that these people don't know, so they do it. It could be involving business or something like that, or people just been getting away with shit, but they fuck with the wrong one this time. I don't know, y'all. So, business. Do not be intimidated to enter the world of business. You got this. Consider executive positions, becoming a CEO or anything in the corporate world. Also, you need to elevate your awareness and think bigger. Counselor. So, careers. What did I get with that body healing? I mean, that body work. I got that energy healing. This card says... Um, 
careers in counseling, psychic work, or energy healing may appeal to you. And when this card comes out and tell you this, there's a person who, uh, George. This person's where, like, world renowned in what they do, or they're very good at what they do, and they could want to work with you. Maybe they named George. I don't know. Okay, so then you have trust. The universe is asking you to trust that your needs will be met. There is a spiritual reason why you are experiencing this cycle. And this is a good time to connect with your spirit, guys. I was going to try to clarify this karmic man, but it don't even matter. It don't. Because they are arguing with each other now. I feel like it was more than one. Yeah, they had to have more. Maybe they needed somebody that worked at the bank. Maybe they needed some cut deep, you know, in order to get away with this. You can't just walk up to no mailman and say, give me that mail. You got to show something. You, you, or or have something signed or something. Or you got to have a key made or something. It's, the car said it stole your mail. So, it's something going on. Unethical. Uh, somebody lying or stealing. Uh... Someone is stealing or lying to you about money. And then beware. Okay. Now, there's a change for the better coming your way. Embrace it. And what this card say. Yeah, earn money doing something that you love or a dream job may be offered to you. Yeah, I just talked to uh, my daughter's friend. She live in Detroit. That's what I got with that dream job. Get what she do for work. I didn't even know that this was a thing, y'all. Marijuana is legal in Detroit, okay? Well, she get paid to sit there and roll weed. I'm like, what the fuck? For real? Like, for real. $16 an hour to just roll a blunt? Baby, that's good. I, I was freaking, I was like, for, is that real? I had to look it up. It's a real company. That's what they do. A whole eight hour shift. They just, I mean, y'all probably think I'm crazy because some of y'all probably in Detroit, like, yeah, that ain't nothing, but I ain't never heard of no shit like that. So, with that dream job, that's just what I, that's made, it made me think of that. Okay, but anyway, y'all, let's close out with an angel message. Remember to show your gratitude for what you can see and for what you can't see. Okay, assertiveness. So, this situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested, yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with other people involved. Yep, karmics, past life issues. The situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from the past experiences. Okay, twin flame. Mm. The answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship. What do you desire? You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide on what the fuck it is that you want. And then you got ascended masters and mediumship. Listen. At the very beginning, when them cards fell out, I said somebody coming after you because of what you know. Mediumship. You have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. So you may have... So why would they choose to come after a medium? Why? Y'all, maybe they didn't know you was a medium. Because you got powerful, loving, wise spiritual teachers watching over and guiding you. It's like you walk with an army of angels. Why would they choose to do that? It's almost like you was the bait. They looked at you as an easy target. Yet you did, nah. Y'all highly connected with Mother Earth. I wouldn't have did it. Ain't no way I would mess with no damn earth angel. I'd be scared what the fuck gonna happen. Okay, ear chakra. So notice the messages that appear as sound, music, and words from both external sources and within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers, child. But, um, you know, hell, some of y'all could have uncovered shit that was, going, that was happening to you. Because in my deck, that card came out saying that angels speak through you. And I said, yeah, y'all are a medium. And it's coming out right here, too. And I did another reading for y'all titled, Are You a Medium? 
Y'all need to watch that. Some of y'all, that is, this is the ability that you have. You might want to look further into it. See how you can. Yep, Earth Angel. And you know what? People, my deck is off. Yeah, there's a brand new beginning happening. But, um. I just, ain't no way. There's no way under the sun. You could get me to do anything to an Earth Angel. Because that punishment is like. You, you can't stop what's going to happen. Whoever doing this to you. But like I said, it's almost like with this past life here, you was bait for this person. This is going to cause a major change, a major shift. I'm also picking up um, something with representation. I hear that song. I'm going to face the city, bitch. That's why you mad. <laughs> okay, that might resonate for some of y'all. But you are a light worker. You come to earth to teach people about love. And um, I think the the image that people have in their mind of an earth angel is not really what. It's just like you and me. It's just a regular motherfucker that the most high has chosen to do something to cause some type of change, basically. So like I said, it's almost like you was bait. They thought you was an easy target, but you was bait for something. Because whatever they did to you, they didn't did that before. You was not the first person that they did that to. And so think about how many people that have been affected by that. How many people got hurt behind whatever they was doing. Something could have happened on Easter. This looked like a little Easter best with some eggs in it. Easter. That's going to be symbolic. That's what I have, y'all. And you know, I really wish that um, the people just wasn't so damn mean. Because on that card that I wrote, it said, they tried to make you sick and unalive. You're not as scared of you. Why would you try to kill Earth Angel? Why? And there's nothing to fear with this person. See, that's what they do. They try to get everybody to fear you. Because y'all know what happens when people are fearful. What they do. They try to get rid of them. Remember I said they felt like if they said a certain thing or did a certain thing that you would be unalive. Some of y'all would be shocked to find out how close you came to it. But some type of divine intervention is because... Whatever you're doing is causing a change, a change that is much needed. Could be on a grand scale, could be on a small scale, but this change is needed. Okay? I love y'all from the bottom of my feet, man, for real. And it's going to be all right. It, it really is. Like the cards say, the situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested. Yet, there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness. So, maybe you had to, maybe you had to endure something with that strength right there. And, and keep standing in your truth. Because they was telling lies. We saw that card. He was telling lies on you to, like, get people to hate you. This karmic man was. And, uh, so you just had to stand in your truth. That kind of reminds me of that reading I did yesterday where I said they felt like you deserved it. I said... During a time when you needed support, they were blaming you for something. And nobody called to see how you was doing. Nobody cared, but everybody was still talking about you behind your back. That's because of something that these karmics was doing. But with this truth coming through, people really see who you are and your purpose here. You know, it, it, this, this path, it's a lonely path. And you do go through a lot. But it helps to build a thick skin. Yeah. So anyway. Just know important people care about you. You are being guided and protected. Divinely guided and protected. And so if you. You can lose any and everything. But don't lose your faith. 
Don't don't lose your faith on this this pack right here, okay? And the Most High is not going to reveal to you everything that's going on because if you really knew, some of y'all would quit. You would give up. So Spirit just show you a little at a time. They don't show you everything. Like people think because we mediums that I don't know how they think that shit works. They think that we could we supposed to know it. You would then you know everything. No. Mm mm. The Most High is controlling what comes through. Just the fuck period. Because if they showed you your whole path and you seen everything that you would, would have to endure and go through, you would give up. It would prove too hard. You'd be like, I can't do it. It's just me. I can't do it by myself. So Spirit just show you a little bit at a time so that you will keep going. Okay? So that's what I have for y'all. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Don't give up. Keep going. Stay prayed up and send out gratitude to the ones that's helping you, even though you don't see it. Okay? Till next time. Bye.